Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed today, April 14, 2013. 11.20 p.m., Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, North Korea. Should we worry? Short answer, absolutely not. Long answer, absolutely not. All right, put your mind at ease. But let me tell you, in a nutshell, what's going on, what's said, and what we have that will make you rest at ease. This not-nosed kid that's running North Korea, he doesn't know how to drive a car. In his first week in office as the new leader, he's, he's been it at Disney World. <laughs> So he comes back to North Korea, and I guess now he's got a Mickey Mouse outfit. I mean, hey, what gave him the thought that he could all of a sudden beat up the world? I guess he's got a Mickey Mouse outfit. Makes him big. But rest assured, anything they launch we have the ability to knock it out before it clears their airspace. So does Japan. They specifically said that we will hit Tokyo, Japan. Japan can do the same thing. They can take out their ability to hit them quickly. And it is the aunt and uncle that are leading this snot-nosed kid into thinking that he can be some kind of a military power. But I'm going to tell you something else quickly about a young lady in the Philippines. I got my new computer in last Friday. I was too busy the week and I did not open the box until this Friday. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> the webcam had no sound. None. So then I go to play a DVD to see if it, well, it wouldn't play. So I got on the phone and spent an hour and 20 minutes with the lady in the Philippines and, and re-downloaded all the drivers that it took to make this computer work normal. Well, Computer error once again because these things didn't work. But I asked the young lady, I said, ma'am, you're in the Philippines. I said, do y'all think much about the North Koreans? She said, that's all we have on our TV stations day and night. She said, the country's worried. She said, we're not getting any sleep. And I said, ma'am, for whatever it's worth, I said, go to sleep tonight because you're okay. I said, I promise you, your country is heavily protected. There'll not be a bomb fall on your country. America will not allow that to happen. South Korea will not allow that to happen. Japan will not allow that to happen. And it looks like China will not allow that to happen either. I said, go to sleep and rest tonight. You're not a target, and nor will you get hit. I said, there's too many people in our country that are Christians. If our military didn't do the job, we have a God that is able and willing to do the job. So we go to him, and he knows the situation, and we continue to go to him every night. I said, you will be taken care of. I said, but the front protection is, nobody knows how many planes are up there. The South Koreans, I mean, the North Koreans cannot see what we have in the skies above them. But we have enough in the sky and they won't come down until the job is done or until the threat is over. I said, believe me. We have the ability to take out anything they launch before it ever leaves their airspace. And we'll do that. Japan will do it too because they have been threatened 
Tokyo was threatened by North Korea, so Japan is on ready, and they will shoot down anything that comes out of North Korea, whether it's a dummy or a test. They will shoot it down. And uh, But I want to tell you something else that we have to worry about a lot more than North Korea here in America. We have a lot of Muslims. We have a lot of Islamic radical terrorists that has Allah Akbar tattooed all over them coming into this country with suitcase bombs and don't tell me they're not because at least one has been found in the tunnels that led from Mexico to the United States in Arizona. Not only that, two years ago they had found 100 prayer mats. Well, today they found over 500 prayer mats. Tell me the Muslims aren't coming through. They're disguised as Hispanics. They're coming through. We need to worry about that, not North Korea. And every year at this time, North Korea jumps up and down and starts this crap. And all we do is feed them poke a little money down their throat and they shut up. Well, they don't feed the people in their country that's starving, that's dying. They fatten their military and they fatten their military budget so that they can sit back and build bombs. That's where they got them. We bought them. We paid for them. We gave them the money to do it. And they gave Iran the ability to to do theirs as well off of American dollars. So we need to end that crap now. But sadly, it probably won't. The time is going to come when it's time to go. Is it time is going to come when the Holy Spirit says, well, I'm going to get my people out. We're going to go home. But another worry that you need to be very concerned about, very concerned about, and that is the Vatican. That is what they're doing today. Listen to Sid Roth. Listen to Prophecy in the News. Listen to Tom Horn. And Chris Putnam, there's stuff going on, guys, and that, that is far more dangerous than North Korea right now. What's going on today in the Vatican is paving the way for the Antichrist. I'm telling you, I don't care. You can hate me all you want, but i tell you the truth. So all you little islands out there, the Philippines and the rest of you, sleep good tonight. You're going to be okay. Americans, keep saying your prayers at night. We'll be okay. We'll be taken out pretty soon. And God help those that are left behind. Jody Wolf, Exposed.